I don't know whether anyone's mulled over the, you know, the, the, a bird that they might particularly like to see pop up on feathers at some point in the future. Well, now might be the opportunity. And I the cormorant. Is that a That's good it. one or a bad one? I don't know. Well, it's such an odd looking thing, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's got such odd behaviour. It's, it's so unique in lots of ways and it's so peculiar looking. One would imagine that a piano player better than me would be able to make something wonderful out of it. <laughs> <laughs> the cormorant is the one with the little patch of white which dist distinguishes it from a shag on the, on the wing. Yes, come on! We're on fire. What I should probably do is play everything on the black notes and just <laughs> odd little tiny little patch of white note on the... That would be a bit too clever, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, yes, definitely. Yeah. Pentatonic! <laughs> they always fascinate me. They're such, such a strange-looking bird and they, they're quite nonchalant. And then cormorants and shags are far more like pelicans, kind of in miniature. They're kind of like a Swiss army pelican. So rather than, you know, this enormous great bill, they've kind of got a, a structure which means they can still nest in trees, they walk quite well, and they swim like, like a fish, which is handy when you eat fish. They do have some quite quirky calls, and I, I was doing a, a feed the other morning and I heard this thing that sounded like someone drowning a rook in a bucket while playing the harmonica badly. They have a certain ominous nature to them. You know, they're quite big. They've got that inside out wind blown umbrella thing going on when you see them. Yeah. Let's give ourselves some notes. B sharp, F please. E flat. A.
Very good. Nice and dark. That mm. was dark. Mm. It was dark. That was brought about mainly by the fact that I had to wait to have my dessert. So I was a little bit annoyed I to rush through my dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Brooding sense of incompletion uh, at the evening. It just sort of, it just fitted quite nicely with the, uh, the camera up this far. Some of you might have noticed my little window on the yeah. usual shot. Well, the, the second window has now appeared. It, now I've come right up to, so I can sit so I can sit up straight. In case some of you are thinking I was a one window wonder, um, <laughs> there are in fact two. Very good. Very, Loved very it. good. Yeah. Nicely done. And a good choice. Thank okay. you. Birds do eat them, but they only eat one or two. So they seem to be able to work out how many moths they can eat before they become toxic. Right. Which it's is a little bit like we have to sort of gauge how many capsicum chilies we can have on a pizza at Domino's. <laughs> yeah, thing exactly. Too, like, <laughs> inedible. Yeah, exactly. And it's always the royal times. that does wet that can eat, eat the most chilies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've gotten that game wrong so many times. <laughs> <laughs> what could be a better way to spend an evening than this? Oh no, I know. Highlight of our week. Yeah. Thank you. I can't think of anything better, but you know what these these shallow folk are like. Anyway, love to see you all. Enjoy the rest of your week. Stay safe.